Yo, what's up, what's up? It's your boy, DMR, back with another one. TGIF, thank God it's Friday. It's your boy, DMR, back with another video. As you can see, I'm, I'm uh, sitting back in my backyard, man. Uh, I'm sure you on my back, sitting back here. Hold on. Sorry. Sitting back here chilling, man. Y'all see the weeds and shit growing on my fence line and shit. I'm just sitting. I'm sitting here chilling. Enjoying my day. Yeah, man. I just want to talk about some things uh, real quick. Some things that I noticed about uh, this modern time and as far as like Again, talking about the high food prices in the supermarkets. Talking about people's attitude to each other. Talking about, you know, the, 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 like, what we're experiencing in 2023. And, um, it's a, a far cry different than it was back in the day, man. Like, 10, 20, 15, 10, 5, 6 years ago. You know, things is getting more complicated. You know. I can remember I used to stay in this um apartment. Um this was about seven, eight years ago. I was like paying like um how much was I paying? I was paying five something a month. Those same apartments is probably like nine hundred dollars now you know I remember when I used to pay for rent like four four twenty a month those days is gone although I have a house now but you know it's a lot to go in about a house man uh, cuz when you like get a house you're actually the landlord you don't have nobody come and fix it. You gotta fix it on, fix it yourself. You know what I mean? So it's like, you the landlord. You know. But um, I just want to talk about um, I want to talk about something about be be uh careful who you let in your house. Meaning this, be careful who you open up to, especially on your job. Cause uh, it's a few situations like I'm not saying anybody particularly. I'm just saying certain people can give you, you the impression that they f they're for you, and one incident that they do and you see it, you totally cut them off, and that's a, a um. That's a trait of a Sigma male. Um, and if you're not familiar with the terminology, check it out, Sigma male. Um, there's, there's, there's three males th that you're going to encounter. You're going to encounter the Sigma male, the Beta male, and the Alpha male. I'm, the, I'm a Sigma male. But, let's go. Um... When you're on the job and you're talking to your coworkers, be be careful who you give information to, and be careful who you open up to. A lot of people use you for what you got, and when you see their true colors, you know exactly what you're working with. I'm not saying this happened to me. I'm just saying a friend of mine told me about it, and I and I had to elaborate on. It. Because um, you just go to work, make your paper. If you make friends at work, then you make friends. If you don't, fuck it. You don't make friends. But don't open up your door to let everybody in your house. Because everybody's not for you. And it don't matter what color you are, what religion you are, because you have people in the Islamic faith, they talk all this Islamic stuff, right? The sunnah, I'm on the sunnah, this and that. 
And these people be judging non-Muslims or as they can say Kafirs, right? They act just like the Kafir in their actions. But when you see the outer appearance, you see them dressed in thobes, sandals. You see some of them got on a fresh sneak with a thobe. You see some people that got on, some females got their hijab on. And a lot of these people come to the Eid. The Eid, like, they, like the Islamic community got their Eid prayers. It's two Eid prayers a year. A lot of them turn the Eid into a fashion show. Just like when you go to a Christmas party or you go to Christmas events on Christmas Day like we used to do as kids. Everybody wear their best clothes and shit and they on the best behavior. After the after the after the event is over, everybody go in their bag. Everybody go into their self individualism as we speak. You know what I mean? So I'm just here to say, man, is to to tighten up on your things that you gotta do. Don't be so fast to open up your door for everybody. Um another thing. Um when you when you actually meet these young girls out here or these these as I say young girls, I mean women in general, these ladies, sorry, these ladies, um don't be so fast to man to go out on no dinner dates. I'm 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 like always saying this. I ain't doing no more dinner dates. You know, when you meet a a lady and she seems interested in you, you seem interested in her, pick her mind, see what she about. You know? But if she say to you, take me on the dinner date, I wanna go to Red Lobster. I want to go to Olive Garden. Give her a better suggestion. Say, look, why don't we go? Why don't we go to the supermarket? Right? Get, get some food and, and we go back to the crib. Right? When you ask her that and she say no, drop that chick right where she at. Because that's going to show you she don't appreciate you at all. She's trying to get a meal. And then after the meal over, the dude that's not paying going to call her up, stop by the crib. He going to blow her back out and he going to get it for free. And it, it ain't all about you getting anything. I'm just saying, don't be so fast to take these girls out on dinner dates. She got to earn that. She got to earn that shit. Ain't no free shit here. Shit getting high. High gas prices. High food prices. You know, high, high rent and shit. Ain't nobody got time to be focusing on some some chick taking her out to Red Lobster and uh, uh, Olive Garden. And sometimes she don't even finish the meal. You know what I'm saying? I had a chick... One time, right, took this girl out about eight, nine years ago, and um, she ate the food, and she didn't even want the food. She threw the food away. I looked at her, right? I, I said, man, this, I said, never again, so don't do no more dinner dates. But let me see, I covered about don't open your door, dinner dates. Um, what else I'm going to talk about? Uh, this migrant cry. I'm not going to spend too much on the migrant stuff, man. Um, I got my opinions about that, but I'm not going to indulge into that conversation right now until I feel comfortable I'm going to speak about it. Because it's some things that I, I see that's not right. You know what I mean? And I'm, I'm, not against anybody come here. I'm just against if somebody's illegal. I'm not saying that they're in particular illegal. You know, I'm just saying. 
see me on my smoking my cigars and shit. But yeah, yo, um, I'm uh, about to wrap it up. I just want to come out here and uh, share some shit with y'all and show y'all the backyard and shit and speak about some stuff that's been on my mind. Um, I might come back and do a vlog later on. If not today, I might do one tomorrow. Um, again, it's your boy DMR. Hit the like button if you like the video. If you don't, thank you for your view. Again, with that being said, it's your boy DMR signing off.